think so. When I first began teaching, I taught in just the way that the academy had taught me to teach, materialist, reductionist, botany, but I, I don't do that anymore. I, I fall back on, on an understanding that scientists and indigenous people share, and that is that nature is the best teacher. I almost always have my students out in the woods and I view myself, my role as a teacher is really a translator. It's, it's the plants that are the teachers, it's the landscape that is the teacher. So all of my life I've really been trying to blend together indigenous perspectives about plants and scientific perspectives about plants. And, and that's what I really see as my central mission in, in, in my work. And one of the things that, that indigenous people always say about plants is that they um, have been here far longer than human people. They know how to make food out of light and air. They make food, they give it away for free. They make medicine, they give it away for free. They embody this idea of of generosity and how the earth takes care of us. And we have to recognize that in order to take care of the earth. If we only look at the, at the plant communities, shall we say, in a scientific perspective, if we only think about them as, as evolutionary units or parts of the, of the ecosystem, we miss the mutually sustaining relationship between uh, plants and people.